and I can't do the pinchers right now, but yeah. <laughs> and the NSAF family is so proud of you. Any words to share to them? I can't believe it. I don't think I will believe it for a few days. Um, yeah, I just kept showing up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what does it, it mean to you? Um, I, I'm amazed. Uh, it's been a really long career. I'm retiring this year. Um, I've had my eye on Hayward for a long time and I knew I could do it and I finally did it. Uh, I'm super grateful to my coach, Russ Winger, my husband, and my strength coach, Jamie Myers. I have just the best support system that anyone could ever ask for and I'm really proud of myself. You looked so confident Thank in that you. last throw. It almost seemed like you knew that it was going to be a big one. What was going through your mind as you, you took that last attempt? You know, sometimes in the throws, like, you can get caught up in, I have so many attempts, like, six is a lot, it seems like, and then all of a sudden you're on round five and you haven't done what you wanted to do. So um, having USA's, like, national championships here at Hayward on the same runway and having my last throw be my best one, that very recent memory was really helpful to be confident in the last round. Um, you know, Kelsey dropping that 66-91 bomb, like that is fantastic for the women's travel and it's been a little bit lower in terms of distance this year. And so um, I knew the podium was absolutely achievable and it's my absolute last opportunity to grab a medal. So, um, you know, I've thrown here a million times. I've had almost every experience you can have in sport in this stadium. So uh, why not go out with a bang? Be confident all the way one time. What was different about this year compared to previous years that you were finally able to get on the podium? Um, you know, I don't think you get last season magic back. Uh, people keep saying that two more years, there's only two more years till the Olympics, but like it truly is like that sense of urgency for me has been super helpful, like knowing when it's going to be the final straw. Um, getting to choose, I tore my ACL a second time in 2020 and uh, I can't believe I made it back first of all, but to get to choose when to walk away after such a long time is extremely special. Because um, when I tore it the second time, I didn't know if I would get that choice. So yeah, last season magic, like you literally have to put it all on the line because you don't have any more chances. And um, that's been helpful for me knowing it's coming. It was even more helpful knowing it was the absolute last opportunity. Do you think, um this is the last throw you'll ever have. Will you do any other meets this year or is that the last throw? I want to go to Europe. I'm going to NACAC Championships. Um, so in a vacation. <laughs> Bahamas, yes. Um, but in some ways that means maybe I won't know when my last throw will be. Uh, and I think that's okay. Like this was more than I ever could have imagined. And um, you know, I imagined it, but it was better than I imagined. And uh, yeah, if I don't know when it's my last throw, that's fine. I'm going to treat every single one like the last attempt and um, see, you know, how many meets I can fit into this little victory tour. Um, my husband will come with me. We were athletes together for 10 years, and uh, we used to, like, live in Europe and go to meets separately when he was still a discus thrower. So I really want to recreate that and just have kind of everything from my career be piled into this final trip around the world. What would you say to 18-year-old Karen now about where she's going to go and, and where she is at this point in her career? Um, I think I've navigated it the way that I always planned to. Like, I love um, being part of the community of the Javelin. I love to share the whole process. Like, I didn't know that social media was going to be a thing, but then it became one, and I get to share even more with people who really, really care. Um, I'm hoping that that can mean I help the javelin continue to improve. Um, when I look back now, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I did make a difference in the event. Um, so I'll keep doing that in new ways, uh, just not on the runway anymore. So yeah, I think 18-year-old Kara had the right attitude about it. I don't know what I could have changed um, to change the outcome. I learned the rehab lessons pretty early, um, and I don't know how I would have learned them any differently. All my injuries just meant I got to add even more amazing people to my team uh, in incredible PTs. Um, namely Kelsey Whitman, my last one, who helped me with back from my ACL. Uh, yeah, I was ready. It's not so often that you get 
the whole stadium on their feet cheering for the throws. The javelin. <laughs> how, how do you see making that, you know, way of more common of an occurrence in the sport moving forward? Um, more people getting involved for sure. Um, that was incredible. That was so cool. Uh, starting at a younger age, right? Like I grew up in Washington. We had javelin in high school. They have javelin in high school in Oregon. Um, I met like a high school girl that throws the jab uh, from Oregon after qualifying on Wednesday. Like she came here just to see me because the event is available to her and she knows about it like from social media, et cetera. Um, so more of that, like more just continuing the conversation. Uh, it absolutely helps that this happened on American soil and it's on Peacock and we can watch it like the entire thing um, and really get a sense of what drama there can be in a throwing event because that was dramatic. Sure, the US is going to every women's throwing event. I know, right? How, how like, uh, uh, incredible is that given, you know, what you witnessed over 10, 12, 15 years? Yes. So I know that Chase went home, Brooke and Janae went home already, but I got to see Val on the back stretch, like at the corner. Um, and I knew coming in that every other women's throws had medals. So it was absolutely on my mind. Like they're incredible athletes, incredible women, um, people I absolutely look up to. And to be a part of that group is ex extremely special. I remember Beijing 2015 World Championships, um, two women made the final in every throwing event. Um, and I think Michelle meddled, but no one else did. And so to be here still and be a part of this group of women's throwers is extremely special. Um, I love elevating the women's javelin in the U.S., but to be a part of elevating all of the women's throws uh, is incredibly cool. The, sixth, the flight of that sixth javelin, the moment that it touched ground, like, what did the moment feel like to you to know that I think I've just bumped myself up into the metal. I was just listening to the crowd. I cannot see where it lands. I know it felt pretty good, but I'm not totally sure. So to hear their roars um, was perfect. Like I relied on them for some energy on the runway and relied on them to let me know that I made the podium. Uh, but there were two women after me that could have bumped me off again. So uh, like everyone wanted to celebrate early and I'm like, we gotta, we gotta chill. We gotta see what happens. and. Um, I was shaking the whole time that those last two women were taking their attempts. Uh, and Mackenzie Little is phenomenal PR today, and she ran up and hugged me, even though I'm, you know, the person that knocked her off the podium. So, uh, again, I just love the women of the Javelin, nationally, internationally, and I will keep trying to do my best to make us all better. When were the ACL tests? 2012 and 2020. Okay. And do you think you've, is this the best throwing shape you've ever been in? Or do you think you've been in better shape and you just didn't have the opportunity or did, you didn't get it, you didn't medal? You know? Um, I think 2010 was still like my best physical like throwing shape. Uh, it was really my breakout season when I set my American record, um, which is still my PR. Would love to change that. I still have time. Uh, so I think technical shape, this is the best I've ever been. I didn't quite execute on that today and that's okay. Um, the result was fine. Uh, but yeah, physically, you know, two ACL tears, a left shoulder surgery, um, a lot of different back stuff, spasms, calf things, etc. cetera. Uh, it's hard to be your physical best at 36, but I feel amazing and I'm amazed by that. Yeah, yeah. congratulations, thank, thank you. Very you. Much.